Hello everyone, I'm Sharon Tay. We want to update you on the stories we're working on tonight. This is CBSLA.com's The Rundown. Actress Lori Loughlin is free on $1 million bail. She surrendered so today to federal authorities in the biggest college yes, cheating scandal in U.S. history. Loughlin is among roughly 50 people accused in the nationwide scheme. She's charged with paying half a million dollars to have her daughters recruited to the USC crew team, even though neither actually played the sport. A Long Beach man has been found guilty of killing a 17-year-old Moreno Valley girl nearly, nearly a decade after her death. Norma Lopez disappeared as she walked to a friend's house back in July of 2010. Jesse Perez is guilty of first degree murder and kidnapping. He faces the death penalty or life in prison without parole. The FAA is grounding all Boeing 737 MAX planes indefinitely after a Ethiopian Airlines crash killed 157 people, including eight Americans. It's the second deadly crash of a 737 MAX 8 plane in less than half a year. President Trump and the FAA only made the decision today after new evidence surfaced in the Ethiopia crash. It's butterfly bliss in Southern California. Painted lady butterflies are passing through. They're on their way from Mexico to Oregon. Experts think they're, we're seeing so many of the insects because they have more flowers and leaves to feed on, all thanks to our recent rain. And now here's Alex Biston with a check of your forecast. Yeah, Sharon, it was a beautiful yeah. and blustery day across the Southland, and wind's actually going to still be a concern heading into tonight and into the overnight hours into Thursday. So we do have a wind advisory that is set to take effect overnight tonight and will be in effect until Thursday afternoon for portions all across the Southland. So again, we're going to be seeing gusts up to around 50 miles an hour. So take a look at our feature cast wind gusts really picking up. Up as we head into early Thursday morning by 530. Maybe you're waking up around that time, maybe making your morning commute soon. Well, you're going to see very, very gusty conditions, especially through areas like the Santa Clarita Valley, Santa Paula, Northridge, Lancaster, uh, looking at very gusty conditions through Fontana. That's going to last through the afternoon and the early evening. And finally, that wind advisory expires as we go into Thursday evening. So winds will calm back down and we are really going to be warming up again. That's the other big thing in the weather department. The nice warm up we're going to be seeing as we head into the weekend, so mostly sunny skies. High pressure is going to strengthen, and by Saturday and Sunday, some areas will see temperatures in the upper 70s to lower 80s. It's going to be a beautiful weekend, and then we'll see a little bit more cloud cover heading into the middle of next week. Back to you. All right, sounds good, Alex. Thank you. Join us on CBS 2 News at 5, 6, and 11 for the latest on your weather forecast and all of our top stories. This has been CBSLA.com's The Rundown. For Alex Biston, I'm Sharon Tay. Have a great evening, everyone.